hello welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to display the recently uh, view product on woocommerce by uh, using a bricks query custom uh, bricks custom query uh, as you can see this is the final product um, i have a list of the product which i have uh, open before so let's say I have four now um, let's reload it first and if I click another product uh, let's say um, polo or belt yeah polo uh, no belt is already there like if I click the polo and I fill the polo now the polo uh, title should be on this uh, query post so if I refresh this yep there is the polo now uh, showing up okay I'm gonna show you this is very simple um, where is that okay here so uh, we're gonna using uh, cookies which is stored on session if I'm not wrong let's say here the WooCommerce itself has already set the cookies uh, we can enable it by a function um, here is the cookies name it's a session which means that if you like uh, close the browser I think it will uh, disappear but anyway uh, it's not problem for me personally and then we're gonna use this uh, function which shared by some user on the github and then we're gonna use a, a custom query loop on the bricks query loop uh, the tutorial is already exists on the brickslab.com so we are just copy this and copy this and then uh, change the query on the bricks builder here okay let's start by wait so this is my another website just copy here is the static content uh, we will change it to dynamic content uh, this is the product class 1 product class view 2 product class view 3 as you can see this is the structure of the uh, upper element on the bricks builder as you can see on the right on the left there's a product class view 1 product class view 2 product class view 3 I'm gonna use uh, change this to dynamic by enable the use query loop but we're gonna create our custom query and then uh, we're gonna copy and paste the function uh, which shared uh, on the github here so the first thing is um let's copy the, the code uh, from the github i just copy from line one into a uh, line 20 26 yep um, where is that here oh yeah here so go to your function or or you can use your uh, snippet plugin whatsoever um, I'm gonna put this onto like WooCommerce special file for store the function of WooCommerce okay oops yeah here okay 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 yeah i think it's done like this <laughs> just like this and then um we're gonna create our uh, custom query so we can choose the custom query here later so go, go to the brickslab.com and then just copy all copy all copy all and then paste, paste it 
to your uh, yeah the function file or snippet plugin I'm gonna put on the special file for storing the uh, hook and filter and snippet for bricks so let's name it like custom query bricks then just pass it mm, oh here I'm gonna uh, name it to my new web query name it to like um uh, recent apa, recently view view product okay and then my new query type yeah here you can change this by like uh, since i i don't have any uh open text of this i'm gonna change bulk like just like this my new web query type to uh, recently oh recently view product recently few product yeah just okay just uh, apa namanya rename all straight and then this 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 uh, function run new query okay yeah you can um like run new query um recently first eh recently view product query uh, like this view yeah you can rename it whatever you like run product query okay yeah I think it's done uh, yep I think it's done and then we're gonna move back to the github code and then um just copy from I cannot explain to you guys because I'm the I don't really have a good knowledge about the PHP thing about the WordPress codex thing what I do is just Google and then try it if if it working then yeah sudah it's, it's working so just copy this from the ter ter 33 line until the 40 line copy to this here all, all of your uh, WP uh, query argument here so just copy and put that here and then create new here we can copy here from the 45 line into the uh, 52 line and here the argument chain just pass it and then here the, the argument variable just replace that with this one with the new one okay and then okay yeah I think it's done but let me see um return post query post yeah I think it's done it's done I think I think I believe it's done okay so let's save it and then let's move back to our builder let's reload oh let's save it first and then let's reload <coughs> okay let's see our new query which uh, i created before okay we have a new query here okay nice so i'm gonna delete this static content which uh, product class view 3 static content delete 
and the product class view to delete yeah, since we will have a list of a product which show by uh, choosing this query okay recently view product okay let's save and then let's okay let's refresh <coughs> so um this uh, there will be no product here but if you check your cookies uh, i have a cookie editor install it we now have the WooCommerce recently view a cookie name with the value of the product ID. It's uh, 268 because I uh, refresh this page. So I have uh, the cookies is set with my uh, apa ini, uh, with the product ID. Bini with logo. Let's say Bini with logo. Bini with logo. Where is that? Okay, here. Here is the product ID. So I think it's work. It's working. And uh, if I move to other page, okay, now it's still two hundred sixty-eight because I don't open any other product page. But if I click here, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I sorry, sorry. I need to change this static text to post. A name post title because the product name uh, you can uh, display it by choosing a push post title okay let's refresh it again and see okay now we have a bini with logo because uh, I have opened the bini with logo product and then let's open the album the album has ID 205 959 the product album and yeah it should start on the cookie if I refresh again okay now it will load the cookies uh, uh, product ID by the cookies we have album now here and let's see the cookies um, yeah 260 uh, eight and then the new one the album is 259 let's see if i open the polo product okay now the cookie has already stored uh, if i click uh, under page the polo should already there okay now uh, if you want to change like the uh, i'm not sure if if you yeah, you can change the order but i don't know how uh, the for sure we don't need random name uh, random order by here because yeah it will it will like uh sort by random but uh fr fr until right now i don't have uh i don't find a way to to like to to sort by the uh the order of uh how we uh open the product like if i open product here long steep lip the long steep lip should be on the top of this list yeah it's it should be on the first because it's the the most uh, recently i uh, i feel the product but now it's on the third list yeah, you, you can find like read on the google or stack overflow or just asking your your forum or community how to do that how to order this uh product uh, which uh, the id is stored on the cookies yeah but for sure it's all right i'm not sure what is all right but yeah you can ask maybe other people i just give you some ideas how to do that um let's say uh, if you wanna uh, like customize the query you can browse to developer.wordpress.org and you can find like if you wanna um, limit the 
ya yeah, if you wanna limit the number of the posts which show on the list you can just use a post per page so post in product post per page um, now uh, it's it it's not set but uh, let's set uh, for only to product and then let's reload okay now it's only two product which show up yeah you can use or try or experiment with this uh, argument things whatsoever i don't know and yeah i think it's done um so if you want to just uh, uh show the just a simple not no no fancy thing to show uh, recently few product by the user by the guest or by the visitor of your website you can use this uh, simple function uh, you don't need to add some plugin whatsoever it's really handy yeah it's like simple this but yeah some people will love this we love this thing i think the simple the simply the simplicity things okay anyway it's done i think and as usual if you have uh like comment or suggestion or maybe a better idea idea or maybe you have uh found another solution uh, you can comment on the box below the comment box below thank you for watching happy weekend and happy coding bye bye see you